welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite artists to find out what makes them, them. And today we've got Sheena. Hi. So today we're reviewing a performance by Ojit Singh, and Ojit Singh is a Indian singer, songwriter, composer, musician. He's regarded as one of the most, gosh, accomplished singers and most successful singers in the history of Indian music and cinema. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. So am I. Let's listen. Yes. Let's do it. The... So that like introduction for me was weird <laughs> like, because it's so different than anything again that I'm used to yeah. hearing. Just, in what sense? So it just because it felt like in that he was very exposed. Yeah. And then it felt quite random the way the instruments were coming in. And then yeah. when the beat came in, it's I was like, like more flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I think it's because I'm not used to the style. Yeah, and that's probably what it is. It's probably a, a very stylistic thing. The thing that actually drew me in, above all of that, was just his tone. Yeah. Like, he's got this sweetness in his voice, and yeah. actually, I was just focused in on him, but I get what you're saying. It felt yeah. a bit disjointed, but that's his style. And I think as a composer, and obviously he's doing this live, so there's probably an element of improv, yeah, but, yeah, he, yeah. you know, he might have changed up that introduction completely. You know, when somebody is that talented, like as a writer, singer, musician, mm. they just own the stage and they don't have to do too much. No. And that's, he's just singing. There's no acrobatics. There's no, you know, there's nothing. Yeah. There's just him and his voice. So, and obviously you can tell because the audience are responding so well. Yeah, he just looks like he's having fun. Yeah, really, really relaxed, actually. Super relaxed. Ka ka 
It's really cute that song. He's like the king of love songs, like, and you just feel that from his expression, mm. the look on his face. He's smiling all the way through. He's so relaxed in his delivery. Yeah. And yet, as you say, he was really high up there. Yeah, he was like a proper chess voice, or mm. what, like I would say, is a chess voice. But it's high, yeah. high, and it feels really effortless. Also, it's interesting as well because in a lot of Western music, you'd open up a lot more, like have an open mouth. Yeah. But it's a lot more closed, and a lot of things like singing on the mm's and the mm's, it's just a lot more closed yeah. than you would have a lot of the rest of the time. I don't know yeah. if that's more to do with the style, or but certainly within Western music, everything would be a lot more open, dependent on the style. Yeah. But he's going more towards... Like, even the way he produces, like, an ooh or stuff is, like, really, like, mm. ooh, put, put your hand in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I feel as well? I feel with the fact that he's not over enunciating, yeah. he's keeping that sweetness. I think sometimes when we really open our mouth and we over pronounce the words and our yep. diction's so clear, it can feel a little bit kind of, I, I don't know, a bit stiff. Yeah, and I think that's maybe the difference between stuff like if you listen to someone like Sia. Mm. And then she, like, no one knows what she's saying, but it's so emotional. Yeah. And then you listen. Got that. Yeah. And then you listen to like a musical theatre song and they'll, someone will be singing it in that style. It's a different thing, it's more about the story rather than the emotions. Yeah, and I think that's why Ojeeth has carved out such a name for himself. Because yeah. he really does have his own style. And his mm. style is clearly resonating with listeners because they're going crazy for him. That, I guess that's a note to singers out there, like, don't try and be like anybody else. Just be yourself, have your own style. Because yeah. you know, there, there can never be another you. <laughs> exactly. about him is that I think his tone is really beautiful yeah. and I think it's his tone that is the thing it's the ease of yeah. it that's what makes it feel like smooth and nice and these are love songs mm -hmm. so you can see people being like oh yeah. <laughs> like, he's singing me a love song yeah and and even though you know he's quite relaxed in his singing and it does come across as effortless He's, you can still hear the training in his voice mm -hmm. do you know what I mean like well, he's yeah. dropping in some of those kind of little riffs there and just little things that he's doing, little nuances that you can tell that he's still a trained singer, technically. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. that about him. But he's not, you know, with some singers, and I say this a lot, especially with um, Eastern music, is that sometimes there's too much technique and less feeling. Yeah. Well, he's not being flashy either. No. But that's good. You can, because it's so stable, you feel kind of like, it's like a cuddle. Yeah. You're like, I feel very <laughs> safe with this song. <laughs> <laughs> Beth's being cuddled by OG. <laughs> what a thought. <laughs> it's like he'd give a nice cuddle. Yeah, he does. <laughs>
आई वही ठंडी पुरवाई रास्ता देखे दूधों की मलाई वही मिट्टी की सुराही रास्ता देखे बनो रे बनो मेरी चली ससुराल को अखियों में पानी दे गई दुआ में मीठी गुड़धानी ले गई बनो रे बनो मेरी चली ससुराल को अखियों में पानी Some good kind of little hooks and these songs, but you could like sing along too. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. that yeah oh gosh that last song is so incredibly beautiful yeah and you know just it's such a testament to early Jeep in the sense that just what an amazing writer for one yeah you know the musicality there like the, just some of the where they brought the flute in and I just thought it was so beautifully mm -hmm. put together but also that was a nine minute long performance and it just shows you how successful this man is yeah and how much he's regarded as an artist that every song he sang... Everyone was like, ooh! The crowd just loved it. I thought it was incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. And he just has such a nice manner about him. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. It's just kind of like... It's like easy listening, which is weird because it is so high. Yeah. So, for most men, they would be, like, pushing oh, to hit those notes. Yeah. But it high? was like, oh, cool, I'm just easily singing up here. It's the sort of thing that I could imagine, like, cooking my dinner, listening, <laughs> singing a few of the... Ooh, 
yeah. oh. For somebody so talented and to have had this much success, mm. I just loved how simple he is in terms of his delivery. It's not overproduced. You yeah. know, some of the performances we see, it's all kind of flashing lights and acrobatics. Yeah, and just him, guitar. It's just him, guitar. Just, I just loved it. I thought it was absolutely... Actually, I, I enjoyed that a lot more than I thought it was going to. Yeah, and actually, I started off at the start of the clip being like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this that much. And then towards yeah. the end, I actually really got into it and was yeah. like, yeah. And he was doing interesting things with his voice and you can tell how well trained he is and that there's like there wasn't a single note that I was like, oh, mm. everything was... In its place, yeah. as it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which no, actually really is a lot harder than you think. Yes, 100%. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And also, you can find out about Sheena. Where do we find out about you? You can find out about me on www.ultimateartists.co.uk. Ultimate Artists is a development program for singers, songwriters and producers. So we help to develop your artistry and hopefully lead you into the music business. So if that's something that sounds like it's up your street, then get in touch with us. That's ultimateartists.co.uk. Go. That's really good. Down.